Hi everyone, Ben here from the Young Bird Photography uh, Judges team, bringing you this week's Judges Review video blog. And I'm going to kick off this week with an image of an oyster catcher that I took along the coast where I live in North Wales a little while ago. With this image, what I was really trying to do was capture the movement of the water, the sea, over the bird of the rock where this bird was perched. Um, and this is something I find always quite fun to play with, and it's a technique that you can apply to lots of different situations, um, from capturing swirling flocks of starlings coming into roost to dippers feeding along fast moving streams. And to try and capture this gentle wave movement around where this oyster catcher is perched here. Um, I put my camera on shutter speed priority and set um, quite a low ISO, so about 100, um, and then played around with the shutter speed to capture the right level of movement. So initially this was about a hundredth of a second, um, and I eventually settled on about one fifteenth um, of a second for this image here. Now, it's always a bit of a balance to get this right. You want it slow enough to capture enough movement that is pleasing to yourself, but not too much that the main subject is blurred. So in this case, it just about worked. But you know, this is about maybe 50 to 100 images before I actually got one that I was happy with where this bird is, you can see, quite crisp in the image, but the movement of the water from the top left down to the bottom right is quite a nice, pleasing compositionally um, element to the image. Now, I'm not that keen on this oyster catcher here in the bottom right that's just taking off as I took this image and is a bit blurred and distracts the eye a little bit. Um, and shortly after this, the other bird took off as well, so I didn't really have much opportunity to try for many more than that. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of background to this image. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, get out there and get experimenting with this technique, um, trying to capture things a little bit more creatively using a slow shutter speed. It works for lots of different situations, and is often best when the light is quite low as well, so on fairly dull days, you can get a bit more creative and try using this. Um, yeah, um, don't forget to get involved um, with Young Bird Photographer of the Year through our various social media channels um, and tagging your images um, with our hashtag as well. And see you next time.